Hey, what's up everybody? Arboots Games here, and welcome back to my Minecraft survival. It's been a long time since I've actually played this, but... Uh, yeah, I was kind of just like messing around, changing the paintings. I remember this painting used to be over there, so I got that back, and... This is a neat new painting, but... This thing, this is just... I don't know, it just seems pretty cool. That, that character seems really familiar, though. I have no idea what it's from, but I don't know. Maybe I'll figure it out. So, last episode, I think, if I'm remembering this correctly, I think I uh, populated the sky farm over there. So I've got a few cows, a few sheep, and a few... Uh, ooh, XP. And a few, uh, pigs. Did I say that? I... Cows, pigs, and sheep. I don't have chickens because I've got, like, a chicken farm and a half that... I definitely do not need more chickens. Hopefully, soon, I'll be, get, I'll be getting rid of this monstrosity that was supposed to be a cow farm. Yeah. And then, uh... Also, this thing over here that was supposed to be my automatic pumpkin slash melon farm, but didn't really work out because it's terribly inefficient, and how's this? Yeah, I got 15 pumpkins, and how? I don't think I fully, yeah. I'll probably never fully plant this because I don't know what I'm going to need all that wheat for. I guess breeding cows and sheep, but that's about it. Um, let's, oh my gosh, there's pigmen in my basement. Ow. These things can, st dang it, nothing. Okay, there was a cow in here. Um, I'm assuming, I'm just going to go to the nether and check to see if he's in here. Mm, hello. See, I am actually playing on a different version. Last episode I made was, uh, like when I was trying to populate it, um, let's see, what ver- I think that- I want to say that was ver- oh gosh, version 1.4.2, but yeah, I up updated and now stuff can actually travel through the nether. Rotten flesh. I don't even... What did I do with rotten flesh? I think I just tossed it in the corner over there and just let it despawn. So, I plan on actually doing something this episode. I'm not just gonna show the stuff that I have done. Where... Gunpowder goes in here. Oh, that's right. Spider eyes go down there. Um, see, so I've got a dispenser, redstone, and wood. What am I going to do with this? Oh, and glass. What am I going to do this, you're asking? Well, I shouldn't be using too much glass because I still have to uh, finish my greenhouse type thing over there. But that's not really... Glass really isn't terribly difficult to get. So, I... Ow. Let's go check on my melon farm, or pumpkin farm. I think I harvested it somewhat recently. Yeah, it's not terribly filled. Let's see. I'm actually going to need some pumpkins for what I'm doing today. And three stacks is probably more than enough. I'm not going to harvest that. I'll harvest it later. I've got plenty of food. Um... How many chickens do I have in this horrible chicken farm over here? Let's see. I've got about, um, let's see. 80? Huh. Not that much. In my other world, I have like 400 chickens just jammed in one little thingy like that. It's, it's kind of cruel, but I don't really care. <laughs> They're animals, and they're in a game, so they don't really have feelings. I don't know. Ooh. So, I never actually said what I was going to do this episode, but in this episode, I'm going to make another mob trap 
spawner type thing that would pretty much be like my third one the first one is I guess the one I need to fix this too it's just annoying what the F what up with the sounds that's one thing I I have just noticed so I've got this and how do I, I don't think I have any resources down here no nothing important so this is one mob trap but what I'm going to do is I actually saw this on uh, one of BWO's videos what the heck is going on with the minecart sounds oh there aren't that many up there aren't, isn't that much audio going on but um, I guess I don't really need a bed for where I'm going I was going to use a uh, another zombie spawner but I know I have more than just two that I've discovered but I don't know where any of them are except that one but let me just quick show you what I'm going to be doing in right here so like I said I saw this in uh, one of BWO's videos basically what happens is uh, mobs that have picked stuff up, they don't despawn, so in this case I have a bunch of skeletons because skeletons is what I'm going to be using, but what it does is I made a more complicated version of his and still trying to fix it. What I was trying to do is uh, make it so that like the zombies that picked up pumpkins would go up here and the ones that didn't would go here so I could still get the XP from uh, the ones that didn't pick it up but what it does is I turn this on and it like pulses this and if it's that is not the hole what is wrong with me and if it's like a short enough pulse then it will open and close on them so it'll only let one through um I don't think there's a pumpkin there so this is kind of slow but whatever so I don't know what the probability of uh oh well he just picked one up right there um he was not actually supposed to go up there but like I said I am still trying to fix it I don't like I said I don't wow <laughs> I said that a lot um I don't know what the probability of zombies picking up s items is but skeletons will always pick up uh pumpkins and put them on their head so right there right here I have a dispenser and when it dispenses it um let's see I can turn this off when it dispenses the pumpkin uh, what block can I destroy this one it will uh, like launch it I guess in this case it's a little glitchy, but yeah, it launches it like that way, and then it'll go back onto the pressure plate. That is directional, di directional, based on like where it would launch it. So like here, it would launch it that way, all the time. Where, whoops, if I had it facing like the other way, then it would launch it the wrong way. But I don't think I'm going to use this. What I think I'm going to use is this one, where the mobs won't actually go over the pressure plate. It'll dispense the pumpkin and it will be on this pressure plate. And when the skeleton picks it up, it will instantly dispense another one. And they won't actually pick up more than one item if there's already something taking up that space. So. I think this one's better I think because it's faster and I don't know I guess it's just easier to set up so I don't want to spend this whole episode just talking about what I'm going to be doing I want to actually do it so I've got wood dispenser glass um this should be enough I'll probably get plenty of cobblestone while I'm over there so that's not going to be a problem if you don't know where I'm talking about for hello for where I'm going to uh, why do I even have that there for where I'm going to uh, 
put it, I will show you. This was originally supposed to be, uh, like a shorter way to get to the, the, I always forget the name of this, and it kind of makes me mad, because I say it quite a bit, actually, the, uh, the stronghold. It was supposed to be there, but apparently I suck at math, so it just put it in a completely different place, and it just so happened to be in a cave by a skeleton spawner. But I did get diamonds out of it, so I guess I'm not too mad. I don't remember how much I got. And I do actually have a uh, 9 diamond ore, so and I've also got a fortune 3 pickaxe, so I'll... I'll have to mine that someday. I'm not really in need of diamonds. Uh, yeah, my diamond boots are far from being destroyed. I think I have a brand new uh, fortune, or not fortune, uh, silk touch diamond pickaxe. And with my enchant view uh, mod, I guess I don't really have to worry about just getting a bunch of useless stuff that I don't want. So, over here is the skeleton spawner. So, I'm going to move all of the skeletons from here all the way to where the portal is. Don't ask me why I'm doing it, but I am, and... I'll have it be about right here. I checked the coordinates and this should be just a straight path. Hopefully it is. We'll see. I feel like it isn't though. Because I feel like it's more to the left of where I am. Oh, of course I didn't get more torches. Why wouldn't I? Or why would I? I just completely screwed that up. I'm assuming I'll find some coal in here, because coal's pretty easy to find. Maybe not, though. Then again, I could probably mine it and not even notice. What's on this? Efficiency 1, unbreaking 1. Eh. I don't really- I don't even think I really notice a difference between, like, efficiency 1 and just not efficient at all okay so it has to go up a little that's not a huge problem because I can always make a like stairs or like an upstream I actually thought they would end up going down oh there, come on there's gotta be coal around here coal thank you I don't have my fortune oh that's right this is fortune too slime chunk over here that's fancy. Uh, boom, look at that. Exactly 16. Uh, there we go. Oh, okay. Maybe not exactly 16. I'm going to go and kill the slime, wherever it be. Oh! One thing that I think should happen, where, like, if you have... Because, like, I pretty much just said, uh, this is a Fortune 2 pickaxe. I kind of wish that it would also work in a way of, uh, looting. So, like, if you beat down a mob with your pickaxe and you have a Fortune enchantment on it, then it should act just like looting. I might understand why they don't do that, but... I guess it's not too big of a deal. Like I said, uh, my enchanting enchant view mod, uh, it doesn't really affect me too much because I can see all the mods I want. Or not mods, all the enchantments I want. Uh, let's see. I'll have them drop another more another one I did something like this and it, I did actually do it with zombies in my single player world but the problem I have is they don't drop enough so some of them get stuck on the mob spawner on the mob spawner so I'll have to I'll make sure I 
dig this one too below so they can actually get past it. And I think that's only one more layer. Let's see, where is the actual mob spawn? Let's see. Yeah, it's one more layer. Ooh, mossy cobblestone. Wait, that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to dig this out. Oh, not yet. You can wait. So recently on uh, on Xbox Live, they had a sale for Grand Theft Auto 4, and they had a the Ballad Gay Tony was on sale for 800 Microsoft points. I'm a little mad because uh, even like the Lost and the Damned, that was uh, 400 Microsoft points. So I don't know whether I don't even have a bucket of water. I'm stupid. Although I do have iron and plenty of cobblestone. So I'll just make a bucket and go up to the surface. Actually, my original plan was to transport them to the surface but I am underwater so that wouldn't really work out too well um so I've I've been playing it a little bit not a ton but so I don't know if like the ballad of gay Tony is just more that's milestone what am I doing is just like more popular than the lost and the damned which might be why it's more expensive or if like there's just more missions, or... I don't know. But either way, I have it. And I've been doing a little... I did maybe three or four missions, and recently found out that I absolutely suck at Grand Theft Auto 4. Because I haven't played that in a very long time, especially on the Xbox. Um... Yeah. I probably won't do a playthrough of it, just because... I mainly got it because it's fun to screw around. Like C4, um, a parachute, a helicopter that shoots rockets, a tank. I mean, there's just a bunch of extra stuff that just sounds... Dang it, that's right. Let's see if I can get this to the surface and bam. Perfect. Dang it, that's right. Underwater. See, I'm like right in the middle of an ocean. Like, what the F? Why would you put me here? Stupid game. Then again, it was my fault for sucking at math. Hmm. Should I make... I need an infinite water source down there. Let's see if I can get this to work. Bam. No. Ow. Suffocating in the wall. That actually did work, though. I'm not... I'm a little surprised that did work, because... Dang. I took, like, four hearts, unless I wasn't fully healed, but still. That was, like, four hearts of damage. I don't like that. I should have brought some ice. Oh, that's one. That's another thing I need to make. Because actually, I've sort of been running out of things to do. Or, like, ideas. You never really run out of things to do in Minecraft unless... I, I don't know. Unless you just don't have the best imagination ever. No offense, but... I usually have something to do. The only, the only problem is... Ow fire no fire isn't a problem but the only problem is i don't always want to like record everything i do because my single player world it has obviously a lot more than what i have in this because i've been playing it a lot longer but like even in my single player there's quite a few stuff that i did in that that i'm Probably not gonna wanna do in this just because it, how apparently that hurts you no matter what just because it takes like a long time to build like uh, I said I was going to do that slime farm and I might 
I might still do that. I don't know. But the part of the reason why I haven't done it yet is because it just like it takes a long time to do that because you have to hollow out a pretty big area. Which I guess I do have uh, two chunks hollowed out. F four? Yeah, four blocks high. So I guess that shouldn't really be too much of a problem. But ooh, more coal. But in my case, it kind of is, I guess. Uh, what? Let's see. What else do I have? I have a. I might actually do the ice tray, just because ice is fun, and it it's yeah, it's just a project to work on. I do actually. I am working on. Well, I guess I shouldn't say working on because it is completed. I have. Uh, something that basically just makes a giant block of ice it's slow as crap but when it's done it'll be awesome because the reason it's extremely slow is uh it has to freeze it has to freeze the entire block like one block at a time and i wouldn't exactly say ice is fast at freezing Hold on, I need to stop talking and actually concentrate. What am I doing? Let's fill that in. Um, I might as well just take all this moss stone. I don't know what I'm going to do with it because I don't really build with moss stone, like ever. Uh, oh, wrong place. Misplaced blocks, it's been a while since I've done that. Partially because I haven't actually even played Minecraft all that much. I've been playing a, a fair amount of of War Z. Hopefully, I will be having a War Z video uploaded soon. It's not going to be a single player like what I usually do. I've been playing with a friend, and it's not going to be just one long like a let's play type video deal it's gonna be not, I don't want to say montage but it's just gonna be a bunch of short five second clips hopefully it'll be funny I mean when I was actually playing I found I found it quite humorous but maybe as far as I know they're just like those you had to be there moments where other people think it's stupid Whereas you think it's absolutely hilarious, then you laugh and it just kind of gets awkward. Then again, you won't be hearing... Actually, I do laugh. Never mind. Yeah, that sounds weird. Me laugh? I don't laugh much. <laughs> that just sounds like a terrible thing to say. Ah. Uh... I should probably start the staircase going up. I'll probably use uh, half slabs just because it requires less resources and gives you more. That's another thing that they really need to fix in the crafting system. Frickin', uh, they, they used to have, uh, or the game used to work, wow, it's already at frickin' 23 minutes. I'm kind of mad. Well, unfortunately, I am going to have to consider, consider, I am going to have to continue this in the next episode. So, I hope you like this, um, I guess, this is kind of supposed to be done in this episode, but I ended up talking too much, but it happens. So I hope you like this episode, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do, and I will see you later. Bye.